Hi there, and welcome to this tutorial how to create a music poster using bitmap mode in Photoshop. In this tutorial, we'll look at a couple of different patterns you can use on a photo to create a screen printed effect. For this tutorial, you will need access to Adobe Photoshop. If you don't have the software, you can download a trial from the Adobe website. Additional to that, we will be using a couple of images and a font from Envato Elements. Envato Elements is a great resource for assets. There you can find add-ons, fonts, actions, presets, illustrations, and much more. So be sure to check out if you need anything for your next project. Make sure to download the assets. We will be using this DJ Vintage Disco image, the isolated headphones, and this font BWNista. Let's install the font by unzipping the file. And here in the folder you will find all of the styles. You can double click on one of the files or drag all the files into the fonts application. Let's start by setting up a new Photoshop file. Let's set the width here to 1270 pixels and the height to 1600. Make sure the resolution is set to 72 and click OK. Press Command R to bring up the rules. Head over to View, New Guide Layout. Let's uncheck columns and rows and set the margin to 50 pixels on all sides. Click OK. Here we want to create an interesting layout, so we'll create a layout that is slightly off center just to create something unexpected. So head over to View, New Guide. On the New Guide window, Select vertical and set the guide to 800 pixels. Click OK and let's do the same for the horizontal guide. Set this one at 980 pixels. Click OK. Let's open the isolated headphones image in Photoshop so we can apply the bitmap. So bitmap is commonly used for screen printing in newspapers. And you can choose between a handful of different patterns and then set the amount of detail we want to maintain. On the layers panel, unlock the main layer by clicking twice on the lock. Click OK on the new layer option window. Head over to image, mode, grayscale. And then again, head over to image, mode, bitmap. Click OK on the flatten layers option window. On the bitmap window, set the output to 72 pixels over inch and under method use half tone screen. Click OK. On the half tone screen window, set the frequency to two lines over inch, the angle to 45 degrees and the shape to line. Click OK. So in order to use the image, we need to turn it back to grayscale. So head over to image mode grayscale. In the grayscale option window, set the size ratio to one. Click OK. And now let's duplicate this image onto the music poster. On the layers panel, right click, duplicate layer. Under destination, select the music poster Photoshop file. Click OK. Let's head over here to the main file. On the layers panel, double click on the headphones layer and change the name to headphones. And we can close this file. Let's repeat the same with the DJ Vintage Disco image, open it up in Photoshop, double click to unlock the layer. For this specific image, we need to delete the background to have an isolated DJ. So on the layers panel, click on the add layer mask button. On the tools panel, select the magic wand tool or W on your keyboard and start clicking to select the background. You can hold down shift on your keyboard to add to the selection. It doesn't have to be perfect. We can go back later to fix some parts. So let's select the background. Here, I'll use the rectangular marquee tool to deselect a few sections, and you can do so by holding down Option. Here, make sure that you have the layer mask selected and press Command-I to invert the mask. The brush tool is really useful if you want to perfect the edges and some parts of the image. Make sure that you're using white and black as foreground background color, and then you can shift between the two by pressing X. So in order to continue, we need to apply the layer mask to the main layer. Select the layer mask, right click, apply layer mask. 
Head over to Image, Mode, Grayscale, followed by Image, Mode, Bitmap. Click OK in the Flatten Layers option window. In the Bitmap window, set the output to 240 pixels over inch. And under Method, use Halftone Screen. Click OK. In the Halftone Screen window, set the frequency to 25 lines over inch the angle to 45 degrees and the shape to round. Click OK. And let's turn the file back to grayscale. So image, mode, grayscale. And in the grayscale window, set the size ratio to one. Click OK. Now let's duplicate this image onto the music poster file. On the layer, right click, duplicate layer, select the music poster file and click OK. Let's go back to the main music poster file. So using the guides that we created at the beginning of this tutorial, we will resize the images to fit the spaces. Let's start with the DJ layer. Press Command T to transform. Head over to the options bar and activate the maintain aspect ratio button. Set the width or height to 85%. Press enter. And place the image on the right side of the poster. Add a layer mask so we can delete the parts of the layer that we aren't using. Using the rectangular marquee tool or M on your keyboard, select the left side of the poster. Use the guides and then press command I to invert the mask. Press command D to deselect. And now let's work on the headphones layer. Press command T to transform. On the options bar, activate maintain aspect ratio and set the width to 22%. Place the image on the lower left quadrant of the poster. Again, let's add a layer mask so we can delete the parts that we're not using. Use the rectangular marquee tool, select the top side of the image, press command I to invert the mask and press command D to deselect. Let's create a new layer by pressing Shift Command N or click on the Create New Layer. Let's rename this to Screen. Select the Brush tool from the Tools panel and right click to change the settings. Let's set the size here to 400 pixels and the hardness to 0%. Click on the foreground color so we can set a few bright colors here. So for this first color, this yellow orange, Use the code FFB20E, click OK, and let's brush over the page to cover it. I'm going to do only the top. Now let's use this pink magenta color, FF12DE. Swipe over here. And now let's use the blue, 0078FF. So it's really up to you how much color you want to add. I think regardless, you will get a very cool and interesting effect. So let's head over to filter, distort wave. And in the wave option window, we can use the following settings. Number of generators one, type sign, wavelength minimum one and maximum two, amplitude minimum 295 and max 375, scale, 100% for both horizontal and vertical. And undefined areas, repeat edge pixels. And click OK. To create a cardioid style pattern, we need to run this image through a second process. So while on the same layer, head over to Filter, Distort, Polar Coordinates. And in this new option window, select the Polar Rectangular option. Here you can zoom in or out to see what the result is going to be. Click OK. If the colors are not as you hoped, we can tweak them later. Add a layer mask. And using the rectangular marquee tool, select the right side of the poster. Press Shift to add to the selection and select the small section of the bottom left side of the poster. Press Command I to invert the layer. So to change the color of the screen layer, click on Create a new fill or adjustment layer. Hue saturation. Create a clipping mask, hold down shift, and just hover over the hue and saturation layer until you see the arrow appear and click. In the properties panel, you can adjust the hue as you wish. 
I want to create a little bit of tension here that will lead the viewer from the main copy down to the rest of the information. From the Tools panel, select the Rectangle Tool, or U. Head to the Options bar and set the fill to black. Click on the page and set the width to 30 pixels and the height to 1600 pixels. Click OK. And I want to set the rectangle vertically here in between the screen images. So I want to use a bigger font size to attract attention. So select the text tool and let's add the text. And I split the word introspective onto two lines. Let's set the size to 120 points, the letting to 100. And the tracking, let's try something out. Set it to 100. Set the word music to light. Set the font to be WNISTA International. Extra bold. And now we can continue with the rest of the information. So again, let's set this to be WNISTA International to 30 points. Flush right. And because there is a lot going on visually, I will try to keep the rest of the information in a single weight and size. We can add multiple dates and cities. And here at the bottom, we can add just a minimal website. And let's maintain the same size as well. So let's save this file. And if you want to save the file for web, head over to File, Export, Save for Web. You can select the quality here. I have it as maximum and set the image size. for. So for instance, if I add a specific width, the height will change automatically and the size of the file will get smaller. So click Save. And here you have it. We have a poster that is a mix of screen printed and digital. From all of us at Envato, we hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we'll see you in the next one.